So if you're on Windows 10, the best way for you to go about generating an SSH key is going to be using the putty key generator, as you can see here on screen. This can be downloaded from puttygen.com, or if you just Google for putty key generator, you can get the URL that way. Once you've installed puttygen and executed it, you'll get this window. And all you do to generate a public private key pair is click on the generate key and then just wiggle your mouse around in here briefly and just like that you'll get a key pair generated. This will be the public key that you need in order to allow DigitalOcean to let you into the systems via SSH so you'll need to copy this and install it into your DigitalOcean account something we'll cover in another video. I'd also recommend putting on a passphrase here and here so the passphrase and then confirm the passphrase and then once you've done that I highly recommend that you, in fact, it's required that you save the public key to your local disk and you'll also need to save the private key to your local disk as well. I recommend that you use PuTTY to then SSH into your DigitalOcean virtual machines. And when you're using PuTTY, you can configure it to use the private key that you've saved to disk and it will prompt you for the passphrase when you attempt to SSH into a system that uses that key.